This is Dewsbury on the North Trans Pennine Railway. Follow the markers over the footbridge to catch the train. Northern Trans Pennine offers the ability to ride and drive both passenger and freight trains during a rundown bygone era of British rail history. This Class 101 diesel mechanical multiple unit features a geared transmission, meaning the driver must throttle off, change gear and then throttle up again to reach higher speed. Trainsim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the number keys. We've only travelled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Take a trip back in time to the early 80s. Visit Manchester, Victoria before modernisation began. Travel up steep gradients and through the Pennines via Stanage Tunnel. Enjoy amazing views as you descend down to Huddersfield and continue onward through the equally impressive Morley Tunnel before finally arriving into the city of Leeds, which also features period accurate station architecture. Along the way, you'll need to deliver newspaper bundles, clear away fallen logs, place route maps in stations, and update the local advertising posters. Welcome to Northern Trans Pennine. Welcome to these Class 45 and Class 47 locomotives in BR Corporate Blue livery. This brief introduction will go through start-up, stopping and passenger door operations. To get the locomotive started, set the battery isolation switch.
a lot of time will be spent in the locomotive cab, so climb aboard to get started. The master key is used to activate the control desk. The locomotive is now ready to be started. Use the straight air brake to hold the locomotive during the startup procedure. Release the brakes and allow the system to charge. Use the reverser to set the direction of travel. Marker lights are used to inform others around that this locomotive is active. Almost ready. Release the remaining brakes, the parking brake and straight air brake. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. Coasting is used to be fuel efficient.
Now let's try stopping at a station and boarding passengers. The key aspect is to make a gentle, controlled approach. Stopping a train in the right place is a skill that takes years of practice. It may take a few attempts to get it right. Give a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Boarding is now complete. Set the doors to lock. Good work. That is the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this locomotive and more. Welcome to this Class 101 Diesel Mechanical Multiple Unit in British Rail Blue and Grey livery. This brief introduction will cover start-up, stopping and passenger boarding. A lot of time will be spent in the cab, so climb aboard to get started. When ready, the main switch is used to activate the control desk. Marker lights are used to inform others around that this train is active. This DMU has four engines across the whole unit, all of which need to be started. The rear of the train must be set up manually for each journey. Head over there now. Red marker lights are used to signify that this is the rear of the...
This unit is now ready to go. Head back to the lead cab. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Boarding is now complete. Set the doors to locked. Use the reverser to set the direction of travel. This train features a gear system similar to cars on the road. To attain higher speeds, the active gear must be increased at the appropriate time. When accelerating and the RPM dial reads in the yellow zone, it is appropriate to change upper gear. The brakes on this train act like a water tap. The higher the setting, the faster the train will stop. Open the valve to select the desired pressure, then close it again to maintain that pressure. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. Up ahead the maximum permitted speed will increase. As it does, it will be appropriate to increase to the next gear and the train will accelerate further. The process of changing gear has several steps. Reduce the engine RPM by setting the throttle to idle. Engage the new gear, then return to the desired throttle application. Let's try. Observe that the train now has the ability to accelerate to a high speed. When the RPM dial reads in the yellow zone, repeat the gear change process to continue accelerating. To cruise Let's stop at the next station. 
The key aspect is to make a gentle, controlled approach. Stopping a train in the right place is the greatest skill of a train driver. It may take a few attempts to get it right. Depending on the speed of the train, begin braking between one and a half and one mile from the station. doing no more than 25 miles per hour when the train reaches the platform, then come to a stop anywhere alongside. Use the control now to set the brake pressure dial to the indicated value. Well done. Practice makes perfect. Good work. That is the basics covered. The manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train and more. Welcome to this Class 40 diesel electric locomotive in BR Corporate Blue Livery. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. Before getting started, some of the controls must be set in the rear cab, so head over and climb aboard. The locomotive tail lights need to be turned on for safety. Everything's now set in the rear cab, so head to the front cab and continue preparations. This locomotive is pulling vacuum braked 12 ton vans. Brake selector switch needs to match this or the brakes will not release. To get the locomotive started, set the battery isolation switch. A lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. Now before the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. This 
this locomotive features one engine which needs to be started. The locomotive brake will safely keep the locomotive stationary. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. To allow the brakes to charge, we need the main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operational. The locomotive brake is holding the train so the rest of the brakes can be released. Increase the throttle to stop the locomotive from rolling back when the brakes are released. Like the other brakes earlier, release them. Use the throttle to reach 15 miles per hour. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Coasting is a method used on flat gradients to efficient. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. junction is ahead. Start applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop before the junction.
concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Welcome to this Class 08 diesel electric shunting locomotive in BR Corporate Blue livery. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. Before entering the locomotive, the battery isolation switches need setting. Start with the left side. As with the left battery isolation switch, set the right side. Enter the cab and continue preparations. Active lights are important to let others around know this locomotive is operational. A lot of time will be spent driving, so take a seat to continue. Go ahead and start the locomotive. Now that the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. To ensure that nothing moves while preparations continue, adjust the locomotive brake accordingly. The locomotive brake is holding the train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. Reverser is used to set the direction of travel. Track alignment plays a large role when manoeuvring around a yard. Head out on foot and adjust the indicated junction as required. The path is now set. Head back to the cab and continue preparations. It's time to move. Set the locomotive brake as indicated. Increase the throttle to start moving. With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus on achieving a desired speed.
Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain a constant speed and reduce engine stress and weight. Make use of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Approaching the stop marker, apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive.